Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19 here on Go Crest Rally 19. Your host, what not the most, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Folks, today we're finishing off from basically last night on the last episode of this Go Crest series. Uh, it got too dark for Larry to pick cotton, so we had to quit. We, we uh, chisel plowed and cultivated a little bit. There it fails in my phone. Uh, we got Larry on the cotton picker. We're going to let him do his job there. Um, I wish he... I guess he does have the header raised. Okay. Alright, let's let him go do his thing. We're going to walk over here. Or should I say jog. And we're going to get started on our sugar beets. This is what we got left. I, I worked... Uh, uh, I don't know. I think I got a clip of how late I worked. If I do, I'm going to insert it right now. If not, you, you never did see anything. But anyway, this is our Tiger XL. We're going to get back in there and fire this thing up. About 6 minutes to 8 o'clock in the morning. And yeah. Let's uh, see what we're going to do here. There we go. Almost forgot how to drive it. I don't know if our truck's full or not. But we got that much of cotton left there and that little bit triangle right there and back there and right there is all we got left. And um, I don't want to waste too much time because we got a lot of stuff to do. So um, I don't know if I'm going to do a, a jump cut on this or not. But anyway, I got a few things to say. And then I'll do a jump cut. One, I want to thank each and every one of y'all for the awesome comments and the support y'all given. It's really been truly amazing, folks. I love every bit of it. Um, let's see, what else was there? Oh, uh, I, I totally forgot. It's been a couple days. Uh, well, actually, it's been a day or two. But anyway, go over to Colin Julian Vlogs. He'll be down below in the comments, or the description box, somewhere. He'll be somewhere down below. And uh, get, send him some love, folks. Let's help him out. He's uh, starting back vlogging and stuff, and he's doing some awesome uh jogging running what you want to call it training losing weight something i should be doing but yeah you know, i just i just can't do it right now because my back and stuff what is my header not raising ah there we go had it on the wrong function but anyway go over and check out his latest video and uh tell him that i sent y'all it, it Really won't do that to my channel. It, it, it is uh, show some love towards him that I sent y'all and stuff. You, you know how how to do it, folks. Y'all been doing YouTube for a while. Uh, I've been doing it for a while, but I'm still learning. We all learning, ain't we? If we stop learning, then something's wrong. That's the way I've always been taught. If if you can't learn something each day. That then something's wrong. Like me, I'm not quite doing this sugar beet harvest right, but you know what? We're gonna get it done. Um, I think I'm gonna hire a worker. Uh, Larry's only 41% full, so we're still good. But I'm gonna do a jump cut here, and I'll come back when we're a little bit more done. I'll right, be right back. 
All right, just an update. We got that one little patch done over there, so I moved Larry back over here. Also got the cultivator and the chest plow on the cultivator going. I don't think what it was called there for a second. Where, where is it? Oh, there it is. Right where it, where it says Leeson, right above there. You see him way back here, turn around. All right. Uh, figure I'd come back over here. That way we'd get this little strip knocked out. And uh, while the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the sugar beet machine is getting that knocked out. That way we don't have that much left. So, yeah. Trying to get to it. All right, Larry, you go hide the uh, what? Uh, about, about, a round, about two rounds, give or take. Not bad at all. Also, uh, the fertilizer was sitting there because I was fertilizing while I was waiting on them to get done. Larry and Christy and Anna and Boo and Mr. Yankee, Colin, all of them. Got quite a few people working today here and there. Um, since we got that done, we're going to take some of this money and level it out the rest of that hill there. Uh, and we're going to have to start sowing or get some fields sold for winter. Uh, probably some wheat and canola, maybe. I love the way these things turn on the dime. Kind of do that in real life. In a way, to a certain extent, you know. Uh, it looks like my GPS is getting off a little bit here. Where is my GPS line? Oh, yep. Yeah. Move that back over just a little. Got to move it every once in a while. Still ain't quite got it right, but it's somewhat working, folks. All right. Go to town, Larry. Now, right, let's pop on over and see what the, the sugar beet is. 63% full, but I think, and it looks like, they can hold the rest of that, so well, let's get this truck here out of the way. And tarp it. There's two seeds almost full. Probably wouldn't hurt go dump this and come back. But anyway, so I'm just going to leave it about right here. I ain't going to drive through those stalks. But yeah, that's what we got left is where Larry's at, that little corner, and this little corner. So. Folks, I will be back in a second. I'm going to go check on the, the 4960 and the 4955, and I'll be right back. All right, the sugar beet machine is done beating. I mean, uh, done harvesting. Yeah, I probably should have went and emptied out that truck, but I had some other problems with the cultivator, and uh, we had to go trade it in for a three-point hitch style. Um, y'all should see that here in a little bit in this episode. Uh, right now I'm going to empty this out and, uh, our cotton pickers moved over, or Larry's moved over. And our chips of oil, 49.60 is going with it. Please hold all of it. Please, please, please. we going to turn these flashers off. I'll hop over real quick. Oh, the truck's full. Hmm. Yep. Alright, 4960. Uh, who was on the... I think Christy was driving it. Don't run over my sugar beet machine. Actually, I should pull it on out, but 
It won't take a second to go dump this. All right, as y'all see right there, that's what we got left to level out. And this is how far we scoot it over. So yeah, this is gonna be a lot of money getting that leveled out. So we might not, uh, it might be a while before we tackle that. And I don't know if y'all seen an update of this or not, but I put a road across the tracks here. Works out pretty smooth. Got a little parking area there if we need it. Um, this isn't our silo, but they will let us use it for storage uh, for free. But if we ever sell from the train, uh, we'll, we'll have to charge then. So. But we, I am going to give them something here, probably end of the year or something, to uh, for helping us out and stuff. Now, please don't don't raise up in the ceiling. I look like it's going to do pretty good. It's going to do pretty good. I I kind of love this trailer, but the high tip, as you can see right there, logs going through the trailer. Yeah. But anyway, let me get this done. I'll be back in the field. All right, just got through unloading the rest of that. And, um, yeah, I got to move. Larry's just about done, so he's going to move over here. And that'll be the last little bit of the cotton. He's going to take us out here. John from the marketplace said since we're kind of busy, he'll have one of his guys come pull it up. So we're just going to park it right here. And let's go ahead and get this, this uh, truck back to the grain silo real quick. Dump the rest of these beets in. It's not much, but it's something. Alright, I just got through dumping them in. I'm going to pull under here. Just long enough to check see how much we actually got. Uh, sugar beet, we got 147.47 tons. Not bad. Let's, let's go and do this. By the way, I accepted uh, three fertilized missions here. Uh, almost 20,000. Let's say about 25,000 total, maybe somewhat in there. And let you see, we still don't have a loan, but our price is down some. That's due to buying a different cultivator. And for right now, our sugar beets are 174.35 at Mary's Farm. And uh, Maplefield Mill, which is a train access, is going up. So we're going to keep an eye on that for a little bit. And as far as the map, this is what it's looking like so far. It's just, we got to get everything squ Oh, wait. Oh, man. Oh, I got to call John real quick. This is Sugar Beets. I totally forgot about them. And they're ready. Uh, pink, yeah, Sugar Beets. They're 12. Oh, my. We're going to have more than what we thought. All right, let me uh, call John, and uh, I'll see y'all here in a second. All right, I told John, I forgot about the other field, and he said, that's quite all right. Just, just call him back whenever. All right, here's our new cultivator, three-point hitch. I think I'll ride. And this is on our 49.55 four-wheel drive. I, I, I just... I like the 4916, but this in here does course play better, so, yeah. All right, um, speaking of course play, let's go ahead and get this guy going. We got to do our cotton real quick, so uh, I'll be back in uh, a uh, uh, second. I'm going to get this guy to the field. I'll be right back. All right, folks. Got it back. I'm sure uh, hazards are throw this baby now I'll give you the text of this here in a second I'm go ahead and get him started now I gotta go check on Larry oh 
I don't know who we got here, but they're anxious. Yeah, Elizabeth. Hey, Betty, what you doing? All right, go over here. Hey, I'll go see the other way. Did Larry leave? He left with that little bit. Oh, you yeah, know, that's hard to find good help these days. It really is. Oh, well, it'd be all right. Got this little bit here. That other white stuff there is lime. Lower a header down. This thing's getting really dirty. But I do have a fire for this cotton picker. So next year we won't have this cotton we're going to go with the newer ones. Round bells. Alright, that's, that's all that taken care of. I think Christy's going to be blocked. Or can she figure out how to get around it? Oh, I have no idea. I'm scared to look. But she's got that much air and be, be in a short row, so... We're going to have to hurry up and get this done. Oh, block by object. Oh, shame, 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 shame on me. Now we're going to drop the header. I think, yeah, I'm going to skip one little row right here. Not skip, but you know, oh, yeah, we'll be taking three instead of the full four, four. All right, Christy, let me take care of you real quick. Oh, you, you almost. Uh, oh, help a Philip. No wonder. I thought Christy was on her. Now, folks, this is the tractor I love. I, I, I grew up. Wasn't the first tractor I drove, but as the last one for that farmer before I quit. I was in love with this tractor. But now I fell in love with the 8400. Maybe I'll find some pictures of them. Post them. Alright, Christy, I gotta get back. Jeep Larry, if I can hop out. Okay. Good. Making sure she's going. Early. That's hard to find good helpers. Gotta start everything back up. Alright, we got any of Nope, we got all this stuff in here. I guess I'm gonna finish this up myself. Hey, yeah, it's hard to find good help. But anyway, folks, I am. Uh, I, I really don't know what to plant. I know we need to plant some wheat for the chickens, and I would like to get some. Well. Ain't nothing we can do. Beet, barley, canola, and oats, I believe. Let me get oh, these lines away there. And uh, I know the chickens will take wheat or barley. Um, barley sells more, but also we can use wheat for making our own seeds, so we're going to have one of them coming pretty soon. Uh, it's a seed cleaner plus seed maker. It cleans it and then applies the good stuff to it to make sure that everything gets treated well probably making y'all dizzy zoom in and out like this. I'm just trying to get a little bit closer. Y'all can see it a little bit better. Don't tell me I don't have access to my own brain. Yeah, I got a little bit right there. I ain't worried about that little bit. You know what? I'm going to say cotton season. The cotton harvest is done, folks. Three, two, one, done. All right. Now we just need to go ahead and get this dumped. You know what? 
Oh, well, I, I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and sell it quite yet. The guy's anxious to buy it, but he wants to restore it and go through it and everything and get it ready for his cotton next year. Let's see here. Pipe out, which would be this. There goes the cotton. So we're only going to have two modules. So I'm just going to lease the truck. Long enough to get the two modules and haul them off. If the price is right. Part of being a farmer, you have to know when to hold them and when to fold them. Yeah, that's right, folks. Kenny Rogers. All right. I'm going to back this back out of the way here. And we're going to take care of it later, wash up stuff for them, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, right here should be all right. All right. Whew. All right, everything's off. Get out of here. Oh, I look how dirty. That does look like a screenshot, oh, don't it? You know, it would help if I hit the record button. I'm talking to myself. I don't know what I didn't record. But I think I stopped when I got the thumbnail. Forgot to hit the record. Anyway, I said I was going to tell Christy to go up down this way. So the module builder won't be in the way. And uh, our sugar beet machine is full too, so we gotta go over there. I gotta double check, make sure. Um, now we got that cotton, we had this cotton, and all this was cotton. So we shouldn't have no more cotton fields. Now, does anybody else? Let's see. No, oh, well, he was the only one that had cotton. So, uh, Look like Sarah's on a sugar beet machine. Um, what is the other people? Okay, we got what? One, two, three, four, five fields of barley. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven fields of wheat. Uh, I think I'm just going to plant wheat. A lot of people's got fields of wheat, so wheat prices is probably down. We'll just feed our chickens and stuff off of that. Uh, we're going to have to do a lot of fertilizing and stuff. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Chrissy's going to be pretty good set right here. Um, let's go check out the other tractor while we're waiting. Jump in the tractor with Betsy here. I'll scroll down so I can reach her. There we go. Oh yeah, doing much better. Look at there. And the tractor can turn around better with a three-point hitch and stuff. It's just a lot easier on them. All right, well, uh, doing that good job. Let's run over here before we go. We're 23 minutes in. 25. Oh, I left the lights on. Get unstuck. Hmm. Sure, something got hung. All right, let's fire this thing back up and turn the lights off. I'm going around the edges here. Got to get some fuel on this thing. A little bit more fur lines. And, um, yeah, I got uh, that module over there, and it looked like we're going to have that module. Oh, that's what I was going to do. We're just going to make a module since we didn't. Okay, okay. Let me, let me go around this end here, and I'll hire a worker for this thing. And, folks, I'm going to show you how much cotton we got left in the module builder, and uh, go from there, okay? Be right back. All right, I'm firing this bad boy up. 
and look like it's all trumped down. All we got to do is open the back door. We almost got a full module out of this thing. We got 45,289 liters. Not bad, not bad. Let's see how we unload. Uh, why? There we go. Doors opening. Now, whoa, we got pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. It shoots it out back instead of. Oh, wow, that's a long. All right, well, I uh, uh, closed the back. Um, I don't want. Oh, it's already closed. Duh. Oh, well, I just got to run this cycle. Um. I guess yeah, it's up off the ground barely I, I don't know what we're gonna do with this I don't know if the guy's gonna buy both of them or not we'll just have to check out and see so I'm gonna leave it right here hopefully we'll get a hold of him before the next episode but folks I'm gonna leave it here um, I gotta go check on the sugar beet machine but we'll see some of that uh, next episode and uh, I gotta make sure these two are doing well to get this ground ready for winter. Yeah, they're all doing pretty good. But anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. I love each and every one of y'all. Folks, y'all have a great day, a blessed day. And I'll see you later. Woohoo!